What is going on guys, Shummel Gaming back here with another Wulong boss guide. This time we are on Zhao Dun. Uh, this is not necessary, but a little bit recommend it. Really Up until this point, I was kind of a full really fire build. If you like need to respec a little bit into the water tree, it's uh, for this boss. The boss is all fire, all fire attacks, all fire defenses. So I'm going to switch some of my points into the water tree. You don't have to go crazy. I'm just kind of showing you how to respec here. But you're going to want enough points into the water tree where you can get some of the wizardy spells to do extra elemental damage to this boss. I'm going to end up choosing the... Uh, wizardry spell ice weapon where you can enchant your weapon with ice i'm also going to choose the frost lance one which is just the basic level one one but you basically can uh target onto the boss and throw icicles at him the, they, the, it actually does quite a lot of uh, damage to this boss considering and then when you enchant your weapon with the ice it's going to do extra damage to the boss uh, so that goes a little bit a long way as far as other things to do to prepare for the boss i recommend changing your divine beast to the bays uh divine beast this will do he's kind of the water guy he'll do extra damage to this boss he will hit him pretty hard make sure that you're summoning in a second companion i'm going to use zhao yun because he is the highest oath level i have with him he's my sworn brother but let's get into this boss he's always going to use one of these uh, abilities that you have to deflect pretty much right off the bat so when you see him go red and he starts to dash in just make sure you hit the deflect Make sure that you hit him a couple times in the back way. He's, uh, this is the other one he uses. But basically this fight, you're just going to want to enchant your weapon whenever you can. And just kind of pick and choose when to hit him. Uh, again, you're going to hit him pretty hard with that. Make sure you use this icicle when you can. Let your, let your companions do a little bit of work. And just make sure you're tagging him and getting out when you can. I'm going to run in here, use Divine Beast. And we're going to pretty much fill the spirit bar right away. Make sure that you enchant your weapon before you... Uh, use your critical blow on him to do extra damage and you'll see we'll get him down to almost half health there already and then hit him a couple times he's kind of going to kind of go into a second phase not really a second phase but he's just going to use different abilities he's going to start flying around he will have another ability that we have to deflect make sure that you're just guarding and deflecting his regular abilities make sure you're learning the timing of the abilities that you need to deflect Make sure you're throwing icicles at him. Make sure you're enchanting your weapon. Make sure you're casting uh, Vitality if you're using that to help keep you and your companions alive. Just pick and choose when to fight this guy. I'm going to get this guy down here uh, pretty quick. I do get a little bit sloppy here towards the middle. I miss a couple of his abilities that I need to deflect. But we're going to get this guy down pretty easily. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a like. Check out the channel for other Wulong boss guides, achievement guides, and stuff like that. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks.